Well, hello, it's good to see everyone. It's good to be here. First of all, I would like to uh, personally thank uh, Tom Childress and Historic Pocahontas for putting this event on. And also, uh, the Mayor, Adam Noy, thank you very much. Let's give them a big round of applause for everything that they've done. Well, my name is Will Moorfield. I am the candidate for uh, House of Delegates here in Virginia. That is the 3rd District, Tazewell County, the Canning County, Northern Russell County. Uh, to give you a little brief uh, history on myself, I'm originally from Tazewell. I was raised by my grandparents, Jack and Betty Moorfield. Uh, Jack worked 35 years underground in the coal mine uh, for a consolidated coal company. Uh, my grandmother uh, passed away in 2003, and my grandfather passed away in 2006 from black lung disease. Uh, my freshman year of college, I attended King College in Bristol, Tennessee, and uh, my grandmother passed away in 2000. Uh, three, and when she passed away, I transferred to college in Texas. And I'll never forget, I was walking across the campus, and it was about 110 degrees outside, and I was asking myself, well, what am I doing in Texas? And I ended up uh, getting involved with the university, and, and, and rumors soon spread, well, that's the guy from uh, uh, southern West Virginia, because I always told them I was from southwest Virginia. Well, I soon learned to say that I was from southwestern Virginia to clarify that I was not from southern West Virginia. <laughs> But uh, I'm running for the Virginia House of Delegates because I believe there are real fundamental issues that need to be addressed right here in Southwest Virginia. We have energy, education, the economy. Folks, we live in the Saudi Arabia, the Western Hemisphere. When you think of energy, you think of coal and natural gas. And we need more local legislators fighting for the coal industry. Because folks, if we lose coal and we lose natural gas, we lose absolutely everything. Now my opponent, Nothing against his personal character. He's a wonderful man. But the fact is, we need more local legislators voicing their opposition to this federal legislation. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this cap-and-trade legislation. Well, cap-and-trade, bottom line, it's a control and tax energy policy that will tax the coal industry to a point where it's non-profitable for them. Now, my opposition and members of Congress that have supported this bill will say that this is a necessary piece of legislation to prevent the EPA from controlling our industry. Well, folks, as state legislators, we have one priority, and that is to tell the federal government to stay out of our business. I can promise you this, that if this cap-and-trade bill passes the House, the, the U.S. Senate in any form, it will kill the coal industry. But, folks, bottom line, we have got to stop electing parties in this country. I think that is what's got us in the situation that we're in. Instead, we need to start electing people with morals and values that are going to fight for the best interests of Southwest Virginia. Let me tell you something about me. There's no gray area. I'm a straight shooter. When I tell you something, I'll keep you my word. I'll give you my word, and I'll follow you. Thank you very much.